Hello everybody to lesson 36 of HTML Deep Understanding course. In this lesson we will study the last form lesson which is the input restrictions in HTML. So let's go and see what we have. First of all we should identify an input. First of all we have here an, uh, a form. Okay, So here we will define an input with type text. So let's write input and the type would be uh, type would be the text okay so then let's try and do our elements here first of all we have value value of that thing could be what for example here the value I will write it this is the value save and reload the website and see what we have this is the value so the value is the uh, the written text inside the form okay great the second thing is uh, readably, read only, I'm sorry, read only. So we could make it read only. So when we refer to the website, we will see that it's read only. I could de delete it. Look, when I click inside it and I need to delete, you couldn't delete. So only just for reading, you couldn't delete, you couldn't write anything. Okay, so you couldn't read, uh, I mean, uh, write or you couldn't also delete so it's only read only the second thing which is disabled save let's refresh disabled disabled means it only you couldn't copy or uh, edit or add or delete it's only for reading and no copying but the uh, read, read only is only for reading and copying too okay the next which is the, the size we could define the size of that one to I mean the size with the character how many characters you need to add for example we could say 10 character save it and come here okay let's write another I mean the size uh, could be that size or we could increase it till we say for example uh, 20 or t t for 30 for example 30 character so it's like that 30 character great so you could write as 30 until you arrive 30 character okay the second thing would be the max length means the max length that you should sorry uh, the, the next thing is the max length means the max length that you should enter so we will do the size would be the default the max length max length would be for example, uh, let's say 10 character, okay, save it, means the character that is allowed to be entered. For example, I will write 10 characters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. Then if I add another ban, it will not be accepted. Why? Because the maximum length have arrived, which is 10 characters, because max length. The next uh, restriction will be autocomplete which could be added in the form so by default it's on it's auto complete so auto complete it's on by default see it it's on by default it's on okay for example if i write here uh, s or m or a for example what we have if we have in the cache of the browser any information it would be uh, completed automatically but now, because we have already the value, we don't need it now. But uh, in our case, if we add any element, for example, have, I have no information in my uh, browser cache. But if you need to make it or disable it, you could say auto complete off. So it will not auto complete the text that you write. The second uh, thing would be no validate for example imagine that we have here an email okay so the email if uh, if you need to create an email and you need it to be uh, to be validated right here for example this is not an email okay send we will say please enter an email address but if we say it here in the in, in the submit we say it, no validate i will say no uh, form no validate I mean not here but we could add it here in the form no validate okay we say it here 
Slidaman. Let's say we need to send and we see we, we, we needed to say uh, no validate. So he will send accept the email even if it's not uh, if it's not true. So I write here wait. Let's write a label here and see label close it. Control X Control D okay. Let's see the label, name the label, for example, email. Save. And now, here is the email. If you write the email like that and see sent, you will accept it. Why? Because the validate, we see it here in the form, no validate means don't validate our code. So he will not validate our code. But if we need to make that code uh, validated, we'll say, we'll delete that only so it will be by default validation so if we write anything like that it will say no you should write an me and an, I mean you should write an uh, I mean true true email enter an email address so that was is not an email address if I write uh, for example safhatek at at gmail.com to work perfectly great that was about no validate the second thing would be auto focus for example imagine that you need we have mm, for example many many inputs that was the, uh, that was an input and we have here an, another input C D okay this brick line and here okay so here we have uh, another input. Let's call it text. Text. Okay. And here we have label. Inside the label we have, for example, your name. Your name. Save it. And come here. I need, when we refresh that website, the email is out of focus or the name is out of focus. Uh, how could we do that? We could do. We could add auto focus. Auto focus. So auto focus means that this would be auto focus when we refresh website. Even if the the cursor is here, when we refresh, the cursor will move directly to the next that we put in the auto focus uh, word in. The then we have something called the form ID. Imagine that I have written here something some input for example the password input and type type equal password password okay and we have here a label for that thing because label enter move that for that place and see here password okay so I need that password to be button there I mean to be for that form how could we do that we could add here uh, ID for the form and call it form 1 for example and then assign this input with that form so we could say form and the ID of the form form 1 okay so now it's joined the form with the uh, I mean with the form ID save reload and see what we have so here if we see it here password and that one this one I mean this we could it's email at uh, I don't know what come sent it would be sent look saved like the, the password is joined like it's the same form it's inside the form but it's not inside it's out the form but it joined with the form and here we have the id okay great the next we'll have something called uh, form action what do we mean with form action imagine that you have here a form action and you need uh, for example here you see submit which is to a place and you need it to double click that and you need them to submit or to send the file to another server send to 
other server. So he will try the first first button. If it doesn't work, he could send the request to another server that we have many servers. So it would be another name, for example, you know, problem, save it. So how could we do that? We could say form action, form action and call it server two, this PHP. For example, a script in a server two in this second server. Let's refresh and see what we have. Here we have an action uh, and, and a button that could make an action for Nick, the, another server. Right here, an email, name, and go. Here it, it works and here it works, okay? So it could work for another server, which could be from action for another server. Okay, also we have another element which could be the form method. Imagine that we have here, we say uh, the value is get, which is the default. Here the value is post, post, okay, let's delete that one. So if you need to submit with post or with get, for example, he will enter, refresh, he will enter the information here and the information here, then if he uh, written get he will do the form with get uh, method but if he click post button he will do the the form with post action so post will do it with post there is no uh, I mean email or name but if you do it with uh, get let's try it here we have get look we have here text type get and we have the information just to ensure we should have here the name is name the name email so if we deleted the name it will not work in the actual server it means the data will not be sent but here we will send the data the data uh, email we write an email at dot com I should write here a letter even if an example so we could see here that we have the email data is here and the name data is here too. So the next would be what? Let's roll back. So the next would be what? Let's roll back and see. Uh, okay, no problem. Let's keep the data as it is. Okay, the next. I'll delete that post file, uh, post button and see here what we have. Uh, we have a form validate. We have, we could add the, the, the same post, for example, form validate. Uh, but with no validate, no validate. Okay, so you can see no valid form, no validate. So even I refresh the website here, no validate. For example, if I read here a fog, a fake email, and here the name, and I click get, you will see you should enter an email address. But if I clicked no validate, you will accept it. The same as uh, the the previous. Uh, Restrict that we have taken, which is no validate that we write right in the top of the uh, in the form, which is that one. Okay. Second, we have something called uh, form target. Okay. Example here, if we need to add form target in that place, form target, and we need to open. Uh, let's name it here. Uh, blank. And here parent okay for ta target and we see black I'm sorry blank blank okay let's save it and see whether it will work or not okay here if I write here an email to come and the next be like that if I click parent it will be activated in the same window but if I click black, uh, I'm seeing blank to open a new window. For example, I, I write here an email at, uh, at, okay, then the information, then I click blank to open a new uh, window. It means he will do the action and go to a new tab. Then we have something which is the multi-part. For example, imagine that we have an email like we have here. 
okay and you need the user to enter more than one email he could write multi multiple or multi name uh, multiple so save Let's go ahead refresh so for example if you write that one at and then he write another one for example comma another information at and know.com then parent it works why because we are using multiple and the name too we could add uh, as much as we need to add names the second one is the placeholder imagine that I need to tell the user that he could add a uh, place for uh, like a hint placeholder that you should or your email your email just to guide the user or here placeholder your name it's more for uh, I mean more friendly for the user so that it could guide them for example email you know that this one is for the email and he could write his email and go ahead so it's great this the placeholder is helpful the user the second which is required for example i will let the email for example the email i will let it uh, required i will say required save and then now look if he click that one i mean the the, the submit button i will return it the submit 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 and i will delete that one okay save reload it and see here what you have if you click you will see this file is required it means you should fill this file if you fill that file with any email then click submit it will accept it will be accepted and sent but if we uh, remove that required word and say refresh if it's empty okay if it is empty and you haven't uh, added anything and click submit it will be work but required means that field is required and it will not work unless you add an information to that field a right information for that field great uh, then we have before the last which is this tab this tab means uh, it works with I mean with uh, the, the number for example if we have here the text is number your age for example your age and number age and we have here your age no need okay then we have min min which is for example 10 or 18 for example 10 okay then max so z max length would be for example 100 year okay or 130 years no problem then we have this tab this tab okay so how much this tab you need it for example how many steps you need to be when he click the forward for example let's we'll see five steps save it and reload the page and see what we have here so if I click in this button in this a small button it would be uh, increased with 5 10 then 15 20 25 the default is increasing with 1 the default so if I delete that one it would be increased with only one step so one step 16 uh, 27 28 29 and so on so this was the step and restriction and forms restriction uh, I mean uh, that was the lesson of this session and I, th I hope it was easy uh, it, it's long I mean it's long but I couldn't cut that um, lesson for two parts but I hope it was easy and if there is any think you find it difficult or something you could tell me in the comments uh, it's enough for this lesson and see you in the next bye